Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing and in today's video I want to show you how you can use Figma slides to create some really cool presentations. So inside of my Figma account right here I have this create new button and I have these three options. I can do a design file, a fig jam board, or a slide deck. And so this slide deck option is the one that you want to choose if you want to create a slide presentation inside of Figma. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and then it's going to ask me if I want to start from scratch, start with an outline or pick a template down here. So I want to just pick a template and show you some of the options that you have. And I'm just going to pick this basic light slides template here and I'm going to add all the slides. But if you scroll through the template, you can see what different slides the template has to offer and they have different different ones inside of each template and they're pretty comprehensive. I think there's about 20 to 30 different slides here. They have a two by two matrix. They have some graphs. They have images, different layouts. Um, and then if you look at some other templates in here, like let's say we want to look at this product roadmap, you can see the template for this one. They've got some mockups here for this uh, slide template. And then let's look at one more just to show you a different one this brand and marketing. So if we're looking at this brand guides template, they have a kind of brand style guide to template for you to use. And so there's a lot of different templates in here that can be a good starting point. So I'm gonna go with this light slides. Like I said before, I'm going to apply all the slides and that's gonna give me all the slides here in my left side panel. And if you have used Figma before, it's really similar to the way the new UI is in Figma. So you have everything down here in the middle, then you kind of have a left side and a right side. And so we've got these slides over here that we can now start editing. And right now it's just placeholder. Um, and if there's any slide we want to take out, we just click on it and click delete. But I want to show you just a couple of cool things about the slides uh, that I've really enjoyed using so far. So over here on the plus side sign, if you click this plus sign, you can add a slide number. So you just click the slide number here and then you click where you want it to be and you can drag it around and they have some grid lines here. So let's say you want this in your footer, you can customize the size of it. And this is something that I also love about Figma slides is you have these preset text styles. You have like a title, you have headers, you have bodies in here. So it makes it really easy to get a consistent look across all the slides. So let's say I want this to be body one, and I'm just going to make sure it's aligned again, body one. And then I can apply to the slide number two, all slides. So right up here, I have this option. And if I click it, it's going to apply the slide number to all slides. So if I do this, it's going to add in now it has two and if I click through these three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the cool thing is, is if I delete a slide, like let's say I want to delete this one, it'll update automatically to the new number. So now I have the numbers that are descending in the same order. Or if I drag a slide around, like if I move this one up, it just became slide seven. So I really love that. It makes it really easy to add page numbers across your slide presentation. You could do this at the beginning or you could do it at the end because you, it only takes one click to add it into the slide presentation and then you have all the different page numbers. So I kind of already mentioned this one, but the other thing is just how simple they've made the uh, text styles. So I only have a couple of options here. And of course I could add a new text style if I wanted to get more uh, more granular than what they have so far, but I can just use these preset textiles. So if I don't want body one, I just switch to body two or to body three or to back to body one. Um, and the same thing is true with color styles. So they have all these colors here that I can use in my slide presentation. And so if I add something here, like a shape, let's just add a square and I can change these color styles based on this drop down, and I have all these colors to choose from. I can add other colors if I want to in the future. So it makes it really easy to uh, add colors and update fonts and everything. And then just like how it works with other Figma designs, you have the selection colors of the entire slide. So I can change them here as well. And then I can 
space and align everything however I want to align it. So I really love that. I love that the color styles and the textiles are very simple. I think it makes it so much faster to create a professional looking slide presentation. And you get these really nice options here as well to make it even more simple, like adding borders and shadows with just a few button clicks. So Figma's done a really good job, in my opinion, of making this super easy. Another thing that I wanted to highlight is they have these libraries that you can use for kind of icons and different things like that in your presentation. So they have these presets here that you can use. So you can add these into your presentation. There's quite a few there. There's another group right here. Similar ones, just different style. And then they have some diagrams by Figma you can use. So those are also some nice tools that you can add in. And you can add your own if you want to use anything that you've designed or if you have other icons you want to bring in, you can add your own there as well. And then the last thing that really impressed me about this is that when you export these slides, you can go to file and then export slides to either a PowerPoint presentation or a PDF. And I haven't seen this in too many other uh, slide presentation tools, but I love that you can do either one. You can get it into more of a PowerPoint or PDF because a lot of people do use Microsoft PowerPoint. And so then you could go in and customize it there a bit further. So a couple of simple things uh, just to think about when you're doing Figma slides. The page numbers make it super easy. The templates make it really easy and the styles, the text styles and the color styles. And they've already thought through a lot of the things that you'll need for most presentations. Of course, you can make this as custom as you want. That's what's so great about Figma is you can make it anything you, you want and, and you can imagine, but it also makes it faster because of the way that they've thought through how to design slides and they're doing most of the work for you. And then you just need to go in and customize the templates a bit further from there. And of course, you can use this as a full presentation tool. So you can add presenter notes down here underneath the slides. And they also have different ways you can present. So you can present with your notes. You can just present just like you would any other presentation tool. So I've been really impressed with Figma slides. And I'm actually <laughs> kind of uh, not sure why I didn't use this sooner and discover it sooner. It's been around for a while now. But just really love how easy it is to get in here and build a presentation and then you can go and adapt it from there. And they have some really great preset templates. But again, if you are familiar with Figma and I like Figma, then it's easier for me to go in and add things because I'm familiar with how to use it. So uh, I'll be using this a lot more in the future and um, I'm excited to kind of find other wins that you can use with these Figma slides because a lot of um, marketing and design is presentation and pre presenting your proposals and the different deliverables that you have. And so I use slide presentations a lot and finding a good, easy to use presentation tool is important for me. And so I just wanted to highlight this today because it's something that I should have been using sooner. I'm glad that I have gone in now and, and created a few presentations with it. And I hopefully will find some other other great ways to use it in the future. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you haven't tried Figma slides, I highly recommend trying it. I used to just create my slides in the design files and um, that worked and it works okay. You can still do that, but I just feel like this is so much better. It's set up for presentations. And so I wish I would have, would have figured that out sooner. That's what I have for today's video and I'll see you in the next video.